Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Drew and I'm back today with another video. So as I can see from the title down below, we are back with another DIY. Y'all know I like to be putting things together myself figuring out how to do things for cheaper and I don't know I feel like when you do and you make something yourself you're more appreciative of it and you like it a little better so I'm always down for another DIY project today's DIY project will be some DIY some do-it-yourself canvases because y'all I'm in the process of just finally decorating my room my room at home I didn't really put much thought into it because I was always decorating my college dorm but now that I've graduated from school, I'm like, okay, I need to love the space that I'm in now. So I'm into decorating it. And I realized that some of the things that I had when I was at school, just like it was okay for school, but now I want to like upgrade them, make it look a little better. Some things like picture frames have broken. So it's just like, let me just fix it up. Let me make it more of who I am now. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to jump right into telling y'all what you need for this DIY and then we're going to jump right into making it. This should only cost you $30, $35 max, which y'all, if you have tried to look for the price of a canvas, you could probably get one and a half canvases and that's depending on the size that you're looking for. The size that I'm looking for, I'll probably get one and a half and I'm doing three for the price of $35, which is super crazy. Y'all know I love me a good savings. So we're gonna start with your pictures. If y'all are not new to my channel, you'd know that if I do a DIY that has anything to do with any pictures or anything like that, I'm always going to Walgreens. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but they do have the savings in the deals over there. So I got three 11 by 14 poster prints. Um, y'all will see them later. I got three 11 by 14 poster prints from them and you always know Walgreens always has a sale on their stuff. It ended up costing me $16.68 that is with tax after the deal. At first it was like $38. So come on now y'all. But picked up some of those, did it online, picked it up the next day, not even 12 hours later, they were ready. And then the canvases, I personally got my canvases from Target because that's where it seemed like it would be the cheapest at. You can get it from like, I know I looked into Michaels, you could do Hobby Lobby or like a Walmart, but it was cheapest at Target. I got a five pack of them for only $10, 11 by 14 once again, and they're stretch canvases. This is the brand, um, Mondo Llama at Target. And then you're gonna need some Mod Podge. Like I said, y'all know I've done DIYs before, so I already had Mod Podge left over, so I didn't buy any because I didn't need to buy any more. Um, for this DIY, um, I personally, well, the type of gloss that you use depends on the look that you're going for. The reason why I'm doing a canvas is mainly because this is going to be in an area of my room where I'm most likely going to be recording a lot. And I don't know if, you, if you're not new to my channel, you've probably seen it in the past. Sometimes when you have frames, like your regular picture frame, because of like the shine off of it, if you have your ring lights or any sort of lights up, it can reflect off of that and sometimes it just doesn't look as good. So I'm actually gonna, I'm going to be using the matte Mod Podge on the top, but if this isn't enough, I also have some gloss Mod Podge left over that I'll be using on the bottom to adhere the picture to the canvas. So you're gonna need some Mod Podge. Like I said, it really depends on which look you're going for if you want a glossy finish definitely get the mod podge gloss if you want a matte finish get the mod podge matte it all depends on just the look that you're going for hey hey y'all so i just want to jump right in real quick to say do some little foreshadowing i actually did not use the matte mod podge i actually ended up using matte clear spray paint but i'll explain a little bit of why i use that later on in the video just want to let y'all know right now i didn't end up using that one and then the last thing that you'll need is a foam brush. I like to use foam when I'm using Mod Podge just to get less brush strokes because if you like use a painter's brush, like, you know, the other brush that isn't like this, I don't know what the 
technical term is but if you use a brush like that sometimes you'll have strokes in it i'm trying to have the least amount of strokes in my stuff as possible so that's all you should need let's get to it this should be a really quick diy the longest thing that's going to take is just everything drying so let's get to it and let me show y'all my new ball art and then when we're done i'll show y'all what i originally had and how it looks now because i'm just I'm really excited. I'm really proud and excited for how this is gonna turn out. So let's get to making these canvases. Okay y'all, so y'all see I put the canvases out. I already started doing one, so don't mind this, this one is already done. I'm doing this on my carpet. So I've just took some plastic bags, opened them up, put it down to protect the ground. It's best to do this. Make sure you just cover your ground before you start so you don't mess anything up. So starting with the Mod Podge, it doesn't matter what type of Mod Podge you're using. I'm just going to put some on here. And I'm gonna be pretty generous with it because I want my pictures to be able to stick to it. And I'm just using a foam brush for it. And I'm just gonna spread this all around the canvas. a pretty even layer down I'm just gonna take one well, of my pictures this one just says hustle work hard with consistency and determination to earn the life you deserve and I'm just gonna put this right on top try to make sure that it's as even on the canvas as possible and I'm just gonna press lightly into it just to get the glue all spread out okay and i'm just gonna let this sit and i'm gonna move on to doing the next one just the same exact steps over again I put the even layer of glue on that canvas this one I'm just gonna put this picture down this one says grind push through the mundane task necessary to achieve your goal and I'm just gonna do the same thing lay it down flat and as evenly as possible Okay y'all, so that, like I said, that one is already done. Actually, let me close this Mod Podge bottle because I do not want it drying out or getting clumpy because Mod Podge sure will do that to you. But now that this is done, like I said, I'm just gonna let this dry. According to the back of the Mod Podge bottles, it usually says that you should wait about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm probably gonna wait maybe like 30 minutes um, for all of this to settle in. And the next step is, Actually, I was thinking instead, I'm, I'm not sure if I said this earlier, but I was planning on using the Mod Podge matte on the top to make it matte to get the glare off of it because I've had glare on my stuff previously. But I know sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't really work all the way like it does, but it doesn't really give me what I, what I want or I don't really get like a nice even coat or anything like that. So what I actually saw on TikTok, is a lot of teachers, you know, especially elementary teachers, they laminate a lot of things. And the glare in classes are usually terrible on those laminated things. So what they use as a little hack is they spray this matte clear spray paint on their laminated things and it helps to get rid of some of that um, 
reflection that light gives to shiny stuff. So this is actually what I'm going to do next, the next step. So like I said, we're going to wait. Then what I suggest to do in the meantime while you're waiting is go live life. <laughs> and then after, move this into an area with good ventilation. So take it either outside, um, on grass, or you can even do it on concrete only because it is clear. Or you can go to like your garage, or your basement, just make sure you crack a door or um, pull a window open or open the garage doors just a little bit just so that you know the fumes don't get to you but that's where you're gonna see me next so we're gonna have a slight scenery change in the next scene or in the next step we're gonna spray this on and she give us that matte color that we're looking for and then we'll get to hanging it up on the wall so I'll see y'all in about 30 minutes to spray this clear matte spray paint on top of it okay y'all so don't mind the background like i said go to a ventilated area so i'm in the garage so the ground looks like a garage but i'm gonna go and then spray with this i did want to say if you aren't looking for a matte look you know some people just want the canvas look this is fine you don't have to move on to this step if you want you could go on with another coat of just the clear uh, mod podge coat or you could just leave it as is it doesn't really need another layer but like i said for my purposes since I'm going to be using this in an area where I, will be, where I will be recording with light, glares can do something crazy to artwork and just picture frames and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going in with the clear coat. And also, if you are in like a well-ventilated area or anything like that, also wear a mask or something. If you need to be safe when you're using spray paint. Make sure if you're under 18, you're using it with parental guidance. But I'm just going to check it up, just get everything nice and mixed. Now I'm just going to go in and try to spray an even coat. Okay, y'all. So now I'm just gonna let this sit maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then I might do another coat depending on how it looks. If it looks good, I'm gonna let it wait for an hour because I want this to be fully set in, all the way good enough to handle, and then I will proceed to putting it on my wall. That's the last step after this. So let's wait and I'll see y'all once this dries up. Okay, y'all, so it has now been maybe like, two almost three hours i ended up doing a second coat of the matte um spray paint on it it looked perfect the first time but i just wanted to make sure that it was fully 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 matte so in the meantime i like washed some clothes ate dinner all that sort of stuff but i'm super excited to show y'all so let me i'll probably put a video in either now or after this of what this used to look like when i was in college then when you look up, I have my hustle grind execute because as soon as I walk in the room, I know that when I come in this room, I need to hustle, I need to grind, I need to execute and get this work done. And how it looks now, but here's one of them. And I'm gonna show y'all how the matte spray paint worked. But here's what it looked like before. So here's what I had when I was in college grind. You can kind of see, you kind of can't, you can see the reflection of my ring lights sort of you can see that whole ring light right there and when that ring light is in the way you can't really read what it says and all that sort of stuff so i'm just like oh, i'm not really a fan of that and here is what it looks like now so yes light still does bounce off of it but you can still read what it says so i'm super 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 excited about this like y'all just look at the before and after even like forget the reflection and all that just the design of it like it's now like this was okay. It served the purpose for what I needed at the time. And now look at it now, it looks so nice. And I made this y'all, like I designed this. Now the words and all that I can't say are mine. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen like these slogans somewhere online, but I'm super excited. So now it's time to hang it up. Um, I was debating what size to make these. So that's why you see these, um, it's just painter's tape that I put up here just so I can get a vibe of how big it would be on the wall what it would look like the feel of it but i'm gonna take these off this is more just so i know 
like where I want it to place it. And then to make sure that I'm doing it all straight, we have a level somewhere in the house. I don't feel like looking for it. It's probably with all the tools and stuff. But if you didn't know, you can Google like a level tool. Most phones have something like that on there. So this is just one on Google. I'm going to be using this level tool. You can barely see it, but I'm going to be using this to help me make sure that everything is straight. So let's do this and I'll see y'all when I'm done. Oh y'all, and to put them up, I'm gonna be using command strips. These are just the Velcro type. Let me try them. These are just the Velcro type. I used these when I was in school, so I just had a whole lot extra left over. But you can feel free to use like a nail, um, a push pin, whatever, um, actual picture hanging stuff, but that's what I'm gonna use because it just works well for me and if I wanna change it in the future. Excited, so let me show y'all. Me not in the camera. Ooh, y'all! I'm super excited on how this turned out. Like to go from this to this. Hold on, let me get the exact one. To go from that or from this to that is wild. It's wild. Like this is like I said, this is cute. But I feel like this is definitely more me. If you know me, I love gold. I love glitter. It really ties in like everything. I love it. So I hope y'all were able to learn something today. I hope y'all were able to either just be productive with me or follow along and do this DIY. If y'all have any questions on how to do this DIY or any DIYs that y'all would like for me to try in the future, feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below and I will be open to answering any of your questions. I'm really excited y'all, like, I'm so excited to actually like have a nice desk area and all that sort of stuff. Don't mind this, I'm putting my planner right here to add that next. So thank y'all for making my new wall art canvases with me. I'm super excited for how it's going to look on the wall. I'm just happy that everything in my room is coming together. If you want to see more DIYs from me, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at I'm G because you know I post on there all the time. Also follow me on TikTok at I'm G because I be posting on there a lot. And sometimes, no, not even sometimes, all the times you get the sneak peeks on TikTok because I make a TikTok for it that gets posted like weeks before the actual video comes out. So follow me on TikTok if you're trying to stay up to date on what I'm doing. And remember that I love you all so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Dre, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.